So this question gets asked all the time, which radio should I get and which version? So we do offer a 4-in-1 or ELRS, or well, in this case CC2500, but a uh, ELRS version and a an, uh, regular 2.4, ELRS 4-in-1, whatever. All right, like always, you if you find value in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And every little purchase helps from Grayson Hobby, either a pack of props, a box of radio, and everything ships from our showroom here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, if you're in the area, in Atlanta, or even in Georgia, come by, hold a Boxer, hold a T12, TX12, TX16, yeah, or TX16, T12, I think. Biggest thing is, if you're flying planes and you want to do a lot of telemetry information, you want more data, uh, touch screen, stuff that you can do at a glance and all that, I think the TX16. That's probably the way to go, okay? Um, you can do a lot more graphical interface with this that you can't do with these. However, the moment you throw goggles on, this is worthless, in my opinion. Yes. This is absolutely worthless unless you do a lot of tuning without goggles, etc. cetera. Uh, which, yeah, you can, yeah, no. Um, if you're flying FPV, I'm gonna say these two. Okay. If you are- Wait, no, Why not that one? I don't like the feel of it. All right, good, next, I, okay. I, it's- Next thing. Yeah, no. I. This is this radio. I really think like if you're a STEM program, smaller kids, smaller hands. I don't have small hands. This radio feels a little too small for me. Okay, um, fair enough. So if okay. you have smaller hands or want something more compact, travel TX12. Okay, Zoro, Xbox Elite Game Controller. If PlayStation, sure, whatever. I don't know. I don't have a play, but Xbox style controller feel kind of for a. a I love the feel of this with a simulator. This feels like playing a video game almost to me. Okay. I love that. Boxer, if you want a box radio. Now, these are small gimbals. These are full-size gimbals. Okay. Uh, so, okay. this is a full-size gimbal, and I think at the end of the day, it just feels like it has more resolution almost to it. I, I don't know how to describe it. The bigger gimbals, the full-size gimbals, do feel better than the mi mini gimbals to me. Um, this radio also features, unlike the other ones, in ELRS is where it shines. It has a 1,000 milliwatt, 1 watt capable ELRS transmitter if you buy that version. If you're getting a four in one, these are all roughly 100 milliwatt and four in one. Um, this is where it shines as ELRS. This is this is born for the FPV racer with ELRS. That's really what this is. This is a four in one version that I have here in my hand. If you're already in the hobby, you have 20 plus quads, you have a dozen planes, helicopters, whatever, then go with the four in one and get an ELRS module for the back. Um, ELRS is a lot to transition to for if you have all that stuff already in this hobby. So I would say um, brand new to the hobby or it's a new radio and you're all drones or all, you want to just look forward to the newest stuff, ELRS. If you already have investment in the hobby, get the 4-in-1 and get the module. Um, the module's $40 for a module that goes one watt. Or, and they have a bunch of receivers with them right yeah, now. Yeah, or you can get a um, starter kit for like 60 bucks yeah. right now, which granted price, who knows with what's going on in the world, how long that'll stay there. But um, you can get a starter kit with three receivers. It looks like the screens are almost the same size. Yeah, the Zorro and the um, the box are pretty much, it's pretty much the same screen, yes. Okay. Uh, the difference is really, they take up about the same amount of room. Oh, wow, yes, they do take up the same amount of room. Uh, that's literally like the same dimensions. In fact, let's just see here. I have a suspicion. Yeah, no, they're pretty wow. much take up the same amount of room. Wow. So, that's, so the, that's the Zorro in the boxer box. Yeah, which we actually ordered the cases for the Zorros. We haven't got them yet, but I have a feeling that it's just this case um, for the Zorro. Or, no, it's it's different, different molding inside. Take that back, they All have right. a little spot for the button. Well, that's good, thanks um, for the tips. But yes, this radio, Nice case, perfect for travel. Put in your your gear bag, kind of thing. Oh, without wait. and we forgot the extra frills. And it has this. And it's got the gimbal protector. Yes. This. So when we go <sighs> like this, when basil smashes on your box, <laughs> yes. Doesn't. Um, no, but I think this is an awesome radio. I mean, the feel of this is great. If you want something, if you don't care about the color touchscreen, and you want a lighter radio, that's a great feeling radio without feeling too small like the TX-12. If you've held the TX-12 and you felt too small, if you don't like the game style controllers like the Zorro, this is the radio to get. I'm gonna go ahead and say it right then there. This is ultimately, I think, the best all, overall all-around radio that Radio Master has ever released. Wow, um, that is some big words. The only thing, the only reason I would say if they did a color screen and a touch screen like a TX-16 somehow on this, like a, even a small touch screen, 
I'd be sold. I'd, I'd pay three hundred dollars all day long for that. No problem. Wait, no, he said a hundred. All right. So <laughs> that's about it. We told you everything you needed to know, and now it's up to you. So, yeah, the boxer is the way to go. Uh, per, okay, so I'm gonna stick with my TX16. I, I fly airplanes, mostly airplanes. Well, you like the GPS stuff. You like all the fancy I like all telemetry the... crap. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I don't care about that. I fly a basic plane. I don't need it. Um, yeah, it's cool to have, but I can also do an audio command. Or if I'm flying FPV, I can put all the information on my goggle screen. I also don't like change. Change is not good. True. It did take you a while to switch over. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's okay. I like, I'll, actually, I'm going to get my antenna with the big, or my radio with the big antenna. <laughs> yeah. And hit you in the head with it. Oh, the antenna is also removable. So when you do break your antenna, <laughs> well, aren't they aren't removable you, at all? Yeah, you can. No. Oh no, they ain't removable. In this one. You yeah. have to go inside. You have to buy it separately. Okay. All right, there it is. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy. Hopefully, we confuse.